Enough about Metal Gear Solid 5 fuckery. Let's uh <laughs> let's play some 16, shall we? It's been a couple of days. I didn't end up uh I, I admit it's not that I didn't have time yesterday on my day off, it's that I didn't feel like doing anything. Plus there was a chance that I was gonna be doing something yesterday, so I just wanted to be available, but that I didn't end up turning out. I did, however, since I had a little bit of time, um, install a new graphics card in my server. Well, not a new one, an older one that I had laying around, but it was newer than the one that was in it. Put a new hard drive in my server and uh, just cleaned it out because, oh boy, I did not realize, but it was bad. <laughs> and they're like, it really needed a cleaning, man. Really needed it. It was, uh, like there was a, a thin layer of dust all over everything, which, you know, to be expected considering it's been... Probably two years or so since I've dusted the inside of it. Um, but what surprised me, what I didn't realize was so bad, is that I took off the CPU fans and looked behind them um, on the big tower cooler that I that I have. The Noctua and HD 15, I think is the one I have. Uh, anyways, point is, it, there was like caked on... Uh, a bit of dust, a bit of fur from the cats. I don't know how that got in the computer, but a bit of that. And then a little bit of, uh, and I think this is what really killed it. I, like a year or so ago, was doing a little bit of sanding on the, the drywall and whatnot, like patching some holes and things. And that dust, I think, got into it because it was like white and it was caked, dude. It was, it was bad. I'm surprised, like, hey... Shout out to Noxua though, they make some good ass fans, dude. Because <laughs> like I never had a single overheating problem with the server. Um, even though it does fairly regularly. The CPU does get hit pretty hard to like 100 percent Or at least close to it. Never had any problems with it overheating or anything though. So like again, shout out to Noxua, dude. Their shit works. <laughs> like <laughs> even <laughs> as disgusting as it was, it worked. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what I ended up doing yesterday instead. Clean the server, new hard drive, new, uh, new GPU, and, uh, then just waited to see if I was going to get the call to go and do something. But I've been thinking a lot about Final Fantasy 16, man. I'm, I feel mixed about the game honestly like I still really enjoy the game don't get me wrong but the more I play it the more I kind of don't like it as a Final Fantasy right I still love it as a game I still think it's a great game um, even though it did go back to Kojima here the Kojima route <laughs> with I think it was like I was reading an article, and I think it was 20 hours of cutscenes one dude on YouTube put together um, for just, like, the story cutscenes. Now, he did include, like, QTE segments and whatnot, but still, like, 20, 20 hours of cutscene in the game. And going off of, like, how long to beat and stuff like that, the game is, like, 30-ish hours of just main story. There's obviously, like, 20, 30 hours of side stuff to do, too. But, like, that's crazy, dude. <laughs> like, you can pretty reasonably say that half the game is cutscene. <laughs> like, that's crazy, man, to me. I mean, it's not like Final Fantasy has never had long cutscenes before. But half? That's insane, dude. Ton of fun, though. Like, the combat segments and whatnot. The story's intriguing as hell. Just not sure how I feel about it as a Final Fantasy game. Now, my so many fucking cutscenes, yeah. It's very cutscene heavy, and uh, even that is a bit of an understatement. <laughs> I understand why they use the cutscene or the the Final Fantasy name, though, right? Because of all the recognition behind it. But it honestly feels kind of like they need to spin off into a side series. But I don't know. I think this is just the future of Final Fantasy, though. In general. The style. It's me, Hannah. Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. 
You haven't changed at all. And old Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> it's good to see you, too, Lady Hannah. Now, jog my memory, was Murdoch like the the leader of the guard or whatever? If you have time, you simply the guy we were fighting us. as a child? I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. Tutorial guy, okay, 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 yeah. I thought so, but memory's not that great, and, you know, <laughs> that was a solid week ago for me. Yep. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes. But oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived and. And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. Happy visit back to the old village here. That's good. Do you God, think you'll stay damn. Here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing. Does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians. <laughs> I ordered the Duchess. Or should the I Duchess, say, you say. Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrek. I ordered a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. We can deal with her real quick while we're out and about, I'm just saying. ...for you and your husband. Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. Yeah, sorry about that. That was my bad. I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? Yeah, the <laughs> all the traveling. That's why we look pale, definitely. <laughs> I didn't murder your husband on accident, you know, in the middle of murdering my brother. I'm sure you don't want to sleep inside. I can't. After what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years, without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. 
if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. Remember that night on the balcony when we looked up at the moon? Yeah, what'd you wish for, dude? I said a prayer to Metia, and that prayer was answered. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. <laughs> it definitely got exciting, eh? <laughs> Joe definitely wants a piece of Clive. Best. Right. Honestly, I thought it was going to be the other way. I thought Clive was going to go for Jill. Clive. But then he saw her as a little girl again. And I was like, bro, this is going to get real awkward. Sleep well. but, <laughs> but then he he totally rejected her so it's alright <laughs> it all worked out in the end but 100% they're gonna hook up at some point it's gonna happen thank you Lady Anna perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me you look just like Elwyn did when he was your age how did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. This get up reminds me a little more of a vampire slayer than it's like true. Dracula himself. But I see what you're saying. Thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Hey, Invictus. Is that a crafting material? I'm assuming for another special weapon wind shard wait where is it was it just straight up a sword one of a set of seven swords said to have been forged in the flames of mount drustinos drustinos invictus has been passed down through generations for use by the archduke's family no shit okay um, so is that better than what we were using before? It is. Not by much, <laughs> but it is better. Same there, same there. Cool. Well, we'll take it then. They should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Where 
There's a shop. We'll stop and sell our wares real quick. Just to get rid of them. Hello, sir. Well met, friend. And you. Gold Orc Sash, Battle Chains, no. Not buying any of that crap. Sell everything. Got anything else for me? Oh, well, you won't say no. Got anything else for me? Except for these. They're worth a lot, but I don't know. Safe they could end up being worth something at some point. Probably not, but <laughs> yeah, I gotta hold out hope. I can't pull out the sword. I wanted to see what it looked like once it was pulled. By the flames, you're his firstborn, Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers? I don't know if you see the brand, but uh, <laughs> I don't think a bearer can have bears. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastport. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since. Rue, what's up, my guy? Hello, hello. Happy to see you, man. How you doing tonight? Who once served her. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Breck. The duchy was dissolved and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right. Lord Rosfield, bequeathed you by your late father, and they I mean, be better off serving I'm glad they're right treating here. their slaves nicely, the but they're still slaves. House, <laughs> still the mm. their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. Send them still, back to the, the I base, would dude. Ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service. Only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Definitely not obsessing over Mass Effect, eh? <laughs> Sounds a bit like you're uh, obsessing over Mass Effect to me, my guy. <laughs> Sucks you lost your save, though. I'm sure you've heard me talk about it before, but that, that's why I've never finished Mass Effect. Because I, too, lost a save. Not for the same reasons, but 
lost the save and then just never got around to playing it again. So it was right at the end of the game. I just had to go back to like the capital, the main hub, whatever it was, accept the final mission and beat it. I did everything else I could possibly find to do in the game and then lost it. Locked. Bad times. Or hasn't your master told you? Either way, I expect our humble village and your final destination. Not to say it didn't have its charms. Take that tower. Relic of the Fallen it is. It must have stood there a thousand years. Oh, that one. And in all that time, no one's ever been inside. Mysterious, eh? Why not? Why hasn't anyone just gone inside it? Ouch, yes. <laughs> Ouch, indeed. It was like 90-some hours I had put into that save before I lost it, dude. It was, it was rough. Hence why I never got around to playing it again. But it's time. I do need to. Uh, I say soon, but <laughs> soon is relative. <laughs> At some point, I do need to play it again. Probably just not going to try to 100% it this time. <laughs> Let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Don't tell me the old man's dead, dude. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastfall, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either. Though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Yeah, funny story that. We don't actually know much. We were kind of chased out of our homes uh, as children, so <laughs> feel free to tell us anything about what happened after the fire. Good day. I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> They'd often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Shout really loud, I got you, dude. Why well, have Noodle yell at you? She's here somewhere, probably just ignoring us. Can you? No. Anyway, he'll be around here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper, might know where he is. He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with him. Patrick, the chocobo keeper. Thank you. We will. I'm sorry, Jill. Hey, stables. Making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. Why didn't he just take up the offer to possibly get the brand removed? Like, he didn't even entertain the idea of it. That's what confuses me. Worst case scenario, it doesn't work. At least you tried, right? Hmm, where the bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but... Is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. 
He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. Funny story that we used to be the royal family around ah, here. So that's <laughs> how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. Oh my God. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Hopefully he hasn't made it too far. <laughs> oh, delusional man heading towards the castle as a bear. I don't think this is going to end well for him. Okay, we're going the opposite direction. Good. <laughs> In the fields, eh? Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? Is this a black mage? That's cute. I didn't realize the scarecrows were black mages. Ah. <laughs> That's a nice little Easter egg. I like that. Ooh, six Briar Clam shells. That's a big haul for a collectible in this game. Three chunks of wire, right? Let's go, dude. Look, Gonna be rich in no time. Someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. Company. We can't leave them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. Love how he's just over there chilling. Like, he doesn't even care about these things, dude. <laughs> like. Oh, there's more of them. Okay. Nice if uh, the name of that gouge would like recenter on an enemy after the first one dies. Guess maybe then it'd be a little too powerful. I'm sure, it's a balance thing. Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your Grace. You came for me. I waited for you so long. And you finally came. I'm not who you think. Clive. <sighs> yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition, one which may take some time. Could you wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete, I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day.
goes to show how well they treated their slaves. <laughs> it still sucks that they had them again, but like legitimately happy to see your slave master. That really goes to show how Thank well you, you were treated. Like you. you've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was his one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad. Send I them back the <laughs> to the base. But when they found out where they come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. After Jack, what's up, dude? I know a man named Sid. Nate? I don't believe so. I would gladly give a hug to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village. And what might be done for Lady Hannah? After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Did he deliver you some food or something? <laughs> I'm guessing. Experience? Gold? You know, maybe you should have kept that 1200 gil and bought some more food for yourself and the bearers? Just a thought. Brought you your Chipotle. Called it. When did you order it by... It wasn't like... Around 8, 8.30, was it? Because <laughs> he was uh, at the store. Talking to me, waiting for an order to come in around that time. And then finally one came in and he left. <laughs> nice, dude. So yeah, it was probably your order that he was finally like, well, I got an order. I guess I should go. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. Yeah, I see why they call it the Deadlands. Holy shit. And literally right outside the town gates, man. Like, that can't be good. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Is this, like, endgame yes. stuff? Another relic of the Fallen. Yeah, I'm guessing this is some sort of endgame stuff that we can't do at the moment. Oh good, Twitch is breaking. It's always good to see. God damn it, dude. Hopefully it's not too long tonight. Or too bad. You won't be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry uh, about. As if the absence oh. of ether didn't cause enough problems. I was wondering why I couldn't use left. my uh arrow spell. Talk to me, I can't hear because you're updating your game and the stream froze. It's, it might not be you, it might be Twitch, because Twitch is also fucking up at the moment. Could just be bad timing all around, but yeah. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like. Bro, I'm not that big of a fan of Chipotle. I it's okay, but I just I think it's okay. Weird how the Deadlands just like cut through the middle of it there. There it is. Phoenix 
Baker's Gate. Alfred, you haven't tried Chipotle yet? I mean, I think it's worth trying, but it's not that great. It's, to me, I think it's okay. I think it's better than Taco Bell, though. I'll say that much. The prices aren't too, too bad. It's time to discover the truth. Or nearby, no available quests. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's what near, nearby uh, activities are. Just any quests that we haven't done. I wonder if we're going to explore up here at some point. See, like, it's weird that there's just, like, you know, this section of live stuff in the middle of all this dead. What happens when... The Deadlands make their way to the crystals. Because the crystals are like... Either the source of the ether or... Like highly concentrated ether. It's like, will it suck all of the life out of the crystals as well? Or... Hmm. Don't know. Curious. You're picky and get a minimum on yours? I get, like, rice, beans, salsa, sour cream, cheese. And then whatever meat, of course. It's almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. Big oof. Yeah, I did. I have the first one, I'm pretty sure. What was it called again? I honestly didn't even realize there was a second one. Railway Empire, that was it, right? So I, I either have the first one or the second one. If the second one's new, like brand new, then I don't have it. But if it's been out for a little while, then I think I actually have it already. Guess I could look real quick. While well, it's loading here. What is it, Torgood? Okay, no, yeah, I have the first one. Clive. Ooh, hello, friend. That's him. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. Yeah, I have Railway Empire 1. I've played a bit of it, though not a ton. Um, I don't remember what it was exactly about it that stopped me from playing more. By the way, because of Twitch messing up, I'm pretty sure there's a pretty decent delay <laughs> between me and anybody watching. If you refresh the stream, that might fix it, but maybe not. like a bloody eel what is this place anyway some sort of shrine oh sorry you've never been here before this is the hall of the gate the gate it's a relic of the fallen only the phoenix's dominant can open it hence the castle's name 
This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Ah, that's like the door that we found back there with the crystal on the it's front of it and whatnot. Okay. No. The apology tree is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Uh, will any fire god work? Because I just so happen to be a fire god. <laughs> I'm fairly certain an evil fire god, but a fire god nonetheless. Thank you, Joshua. Are you sure about this? Nevermore. Weren't you just saying it's holy ground, but none that none but the the dominant of fire may enter? <laughs> Shiva seems like the exact opposite of a dominant of fire. The gate. Let's see if this one opens. It's like it dives into economics and stuff like the one we played instead of straight up being a train sim. Like I said, I, I remember playing a bit of Railway Empire, the first one, and I did like it. But there was something about it that I wasn't a huge fan of. I don't remember if it's like stuff was just too close together, or... I I really can't remember, man. But yeah, no, I'm definitely down to play. The first one, if it's multiplayer, or second one, once I have a chance to pick it up. Like, whatever. I like trains, after all. <laughs> Are those things going to come to come to life? They look like some sort of gargoyles or some shit. Jill. Yup. Knew that was gonna happen. I didn't expect them to be like dwarven spiders, but what do we do? or Dwemer, <laughs> Dwemer spiders. Are they close enough? I don't know if they're actually close enough for this to hit. Yeah, fallen bugs. Interesting. Well, <laughs> I don't know if that was meant to be dramatic or not, but. Well, they're dead. <laughs> Bruh, this is straight up just ripped from the Outer Scrolls. These are <laughs> these are just Dwemer creature, man. You can't convince me otherwise. Forget how to block. There no is there not a guard? There might not be a guard button. <laughs> My memory's not great, dude. <laughs> Ooh, hunter, big guy. Big guy not so big now. How can these things still function? How can any of this? this it's amazing how Dwemer stuff works like that. Phoenix Gate Hooded Man Echoes. Strange clockwork constructs often encountered in fallen ruins. Yeah, dude, 100%. This is Dwemer shit. 
The question of whether or not they are truly alive is open to debate, as they do not appear to require water, nor do they feed on the flesh of their victims as beasts do. They seemingly exist solely to protect their habitats from intruders. All echoes are encased in protective plating that is made from the same material as the ruins and thus cannot be destroyed. The repeated blows will cause individual plates to dislodge, eventually causing the entire construct to collapse on itself. Yeah. So the fallen are just the Dwemer, <laughs> but they lived in the the sky, not in <laughs> not underground. Uh, where? Oh, there. Bro, I'm blind. I blame it on the motion blur. Did <laughs> they drop soul gems? <laughs> No, the, the loot's a lot less interesting in this game than that. Hmm. Weird collision on those. I mean, I don't think they're meant to be stairs, but the thing I was walking on like stairs. Ooh. Ow. I didn't need to get zapped, my guy. Ooh, chest. Oh. 50 gill and 5 sharp fangs. So glad we opened that chest. Just gonna head deeper and deeper, eh? I wonder, does this... Wait. Is this where we were fighting the phoenix at? The phoenix and, and Ifrit were fighting? All of these towers and shit that were underground? Seventy-one percent through. You found two good chests. Good, good stuff, man. <laughs> Looks like it could take a beating. So it is sometimes worth it to explore. It's just very rare, is what you're saying. <laughs> ah, ow! That wasn't very nice. Oh shit! Oh, okay. Oh, don't, don't do that. Uh, this looks bad. We're fine. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's grand. Oh god, all the icicles scared me, dude. I was, <laughs> I was getting ready to dodge out of the way. It's freaking Jill over there. No, you bastard. That looks bad. Aw, oh, nice parry, dude. Get him down. Let's go. Doing 60k on stagger now? Nice, man. I think the most I've done was like 15-ish. Usually it's around like the 10, like there. That's pretty, pretty standard, I feel like. I mean, hey, I'll take heals. High potion, all the heals, thanks. Were these enemies supposed to be harder or something? <laughs> Legit, I had a lot harder time earlier in the game than these guys are giving me. What the hell are they? 
Have we not fought bombs before? Oh, that's terrible. Hey, Jill, do you want to, like, maybe deal with these guys real quick? Use a little bit of fire magic, or not fire magic, <laughs> ice magic to get rid of them. I, I, I used, or, oh, no, I didn't. Okay, I was trying to use fire magic. I don't know if that's good or bad for these things, though. Oh, I didn't mean to trigger that. Oh, well. There are weaknesses, though, of some sort. It's like when I've been fighting enemies before, I've seen it pop up something about, like, iconic weakness or, or something along those lines. I haven't seen it pop up too many times, but I don't know if it's necessarily elemental or not, though. Vulnerability, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're probably right. It was probably iconic vulnerability. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hellbent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on. Ooh, twelve hundred gil. That one's actually pretty decent. I mean money doesn't seem that important if there's just gonna be story based weapons anyways, but Not gonna say no to free money either, though. Did that really not do any damage to either one of them? Bro. Oh, screw you. I wanna fight this guy. <laughs> Never mind, he's dead. Oh, damn. He went into stagger quick. I don't know what Joe did, but she needs to do more of that. What was that? That's like a large force field. Oh, you bastard. Glad you can't fall off of the geometry in this game, because I'd be so screwed. Oh my god. Screw this guy. <laughs> beating but we didn't die we're good how much deeper does this go though i mean we know from when we were down here fighting as a god <laughs> that this place is pretty big it could go on a while more potions man it really is just like giving them to us left and right Hated the dog menus you're using timely assist. Uh, that is the one 
ring that I did consider using. During the demo the first time I played it, I did try out the other ones a little bit. But it just made it too mindless for me personally. Like, as an accessibility option, I think it's amazing. But it just wasn't for me. Like, But the timely assist one I am, or I have considered. But to be honest, so far, I've been more or less happy just ignoring the dog. So, I've just been kind of going with that route. Like, every once in a while, I remember to just tell him to sick things. Or if there's something flying, I'll remember to tell him to ravage to bring him down. But, like, I don't really find him necessary to use properly, though. Hello, Mr. Chesticle. The Will of Wind. Okay. Is this the open one or the... That's the one we must have just come through. Okay. So, this one. Twitch is shitting the bed. Yeah, I know. I can see it, man. It's all the way down to... It's been hovering around like two and 3,000 kilobits a second. The stream is meant to be 6,000, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, as far as I can tell, it's not me, like usual. But sadly, there's nothing I can really do about it either. This hooded guy? Yes. Or boss? It's boss. Maybe boss is hooded guy. No. <laughs> I doubt it. Oh, he's powered by a crystal, though. That's neat. Seems the feeling's mutual. Ah, see, they don't drop soul stones, but they are powered by freaking ether stones, man. I'm telling you, they're Dwemer. <laughs> they're all Dwemer creations. The Fallen and the Dwemer are the same damn thing. When they were teleported out of the universe of Elder Scrolls, they were dropped into the universe of Final Fantasy 16. That's, that's canon now. It's just when they were teleported, they weren't teleported like underground. They were teleported like in the air. So them and all their shit fell to the ground. And like, <laughs> that's 100% what happened. I'm going to check my uh, internet connection real quick. Make sure it's not me. I mean, even if it is me, there's nothing I can really do about it. But I don't think it is, though. Let's see. I wish speed test had an option to just test upload speed so I didn't have to wait for the download speed test, but whatever. Okay, well, my download speed's okay. It's not as fast as I pay for, but honestly, it's probably limited by the server I'm connected to. Yeah, my upload speed, it's fine. It's not amazing at the moment at 15, 16 but I am still streaming to Twitch at the same time. And again, I only use six for streaming. So, doesn't seem to be a me problem, sadly. Although it, the the <laughs> connection probably did get worse while that was going, though, just for more traffic. But yeah, nothing I can do, sadly. Oh, that looks mean. Oh, it's an iron giant. Let's go, dude taking me back to the, the days of Final Fantasy 15 and by that I mean like a week ago when I was last playing Final Fantasy 15 <laughs> oh oh we did we get hit ow we got hit that time oh jeez dude oh jeez <laughs> Good job on that. Uh, 
Okay. I like that, like how you can multitask in the game. I will say that. Like again, the combat in in all honesty is just really good in general. <laughs> like they did a really really freaking good job with the combat, dude. Like there's I I have literally no complaints with it. Like the fact that you can charge your magic up to Faraga while dodging and stuff, that's really cool. Or that I can do the lunge and then just keep holding square to charge the the flames up on my sword. That's really cool. I like that. Like they did a really, really good job with with that, if nothing else. I'm also gonna die here. Yes, right before the stagger ended. 18, 584. That's probably a record for me. He is under halfway. Oh, wait, what? Press the attack? What does that mean? What? Writing Atomic Ray? Then attack? Oh, shit, I'm using potions. God, dude. <laughs> Oh, it's damage-based, isn't it? And this is so weak. Damn it, I just used another potion. Uh, <laughs> that menu is kind of trash. I have to agree. <laughs> just having both menus on the same thing, I think is the problem. Oh, that was close, my guy. Ow. I like how he's an iron giant, but he seems to have a fire vulnerability or or fire acon vulnerability. Doesn't make a ton of sense to me personally, but what do I know? Get wrecked, my guy. Fallen iron. Despite thousands of years having passed since its forging, not a single blemish, scratch, nor patch of rust can be found upon this metal surface. As to how that is possible, none can say, and the answer will likely remain lost forever. Fancy, huh? Uh, okay. I feel like, hold on one sec. Since Twitch is still messing up anyways, I want to check something real quick. Oh, not that. With my mic, some mic settings, that's all. Oh, I hate the new, from like Windows 10 onward, I hate the sound setting stuff. What? No, leave that. You wish they would have expanded melee strikes a bit? What do you mean, like more, like a more model, like a more fighting game style sort of thing? Or you mean just like longer strings of attacks? No, I want Razor Siren X. Levels. I'm turn it down more and then turn that up more. There we go. Something like that. I wish Twitch was caught up so I could hear what it sounds like. See if it sounds okay. Maybe if I refresh my own stream. <laughs> maybe maybe that'll help me catch up. Although Twitch is still fucked, so who knows. Uh, Yeah, now I'm still in the fight. <laughs> that is so trash. Okay, well, whatever. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna assume that that helped something and just leave it at that. 
Although I could probably turn it down even a little bit more though. Something like that maybe. Hopefully that's good enough. Okay. You remember we get the lead? Yeah, you just might have to remind me, love, but I will. What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? They're probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Jill, look. What is that? What's like all the crystals? It's worth a closer look, whatever Above it is. Above it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is there anything back where we came from? There is. Wait, do we have a map? No, no map. Well. <laughs> Can we actually, like, go in there? Or is this all locked out from a... No, we can did was that wait did i accidentally go the way we were supposed to go i'm so confused <laughs> Oh, you look different. All right then. You don't look like the the things we were fighting before. You're a lich. Okay, you're also teleporting. Damn, dude, I keep using circle. To try and dodge. He's kind of weak sauce, isn't he? Technically, you can mix in the uh, the spells with the with the melee to switch it up a little bit. You can do like the magic bursts in between. I haven't really decided personally if that's worth it or not, but it is an option. You bastard! Come on, just kill him. He's dead. Get wrecked. It wasn't like the others. It would seem this place holds even more secrets than we thought. Wait, is this or is this not the direction we came from? I'm so confused. And we don't have a map, <laughs> so I don't know where we're heading. Let's Try this door. Look out. Vectors, you're new too. 
all kinds of new things down here, huh? This, that's a crystal? Oh, do we have to like go around and activate all the crystals or something? What have we here? Yeah, okay. So it's like a bunch of crystals, this some sort of power thing or something. I see, I see. Maybe like one final elevator? Is this I wonder if maybe this is where that big tower is. The one that they were talking about no one's ever entered before. This place is kind of creepy. Could you imagine sending a little kid in here? Like, we gotta remember, this is where Joshua was supposed to be sent in by himself. I mean, like they said earlier, I'm sure they would have been nicer to the Phoenix. Since, you know, this is... <laughs> the phoenix's zone but like damn dude even if these things were just chilling around the place still kind of creepy lights well that did something it did it did do something She's spitting facts. Ooh. Ooh, that's new. Wait, are there any... Are these doors closed? Can we not go through these ones yet? I guess not. Okay. So activate this thing then. Ah, oh, getting a bridge. Isn't a dead end after all. Apparently not. How fancy. I wish I would have spent a little bit more time exploring that area we first were in when we came up that elevator now, though. Because, <laughs> like, I didn't even really look around. Because, like, oh, I don't want to go that way. That's the right way. So then I just turned around and... Accidentally went the right way. <laughs> Locked ourselves out of that room. Do other bridges connect here? This looks like it should continue on. It all seems to lead to this room. And look what's in it. that how old do you suppose this is a thousand years more i don't know i've never seen anything like it before who is that in the middle do you think some sort of god it looks like ifrit m with wings like ifrit and phoenix together or something Torkoal <laughs> does not look happy. You, you, you're him. The 
second dominant of fire. Who are you? <laughs> oh, that's the scene that Chocobo shared. What? Yeah, it is getting pretty late, my guy. <laughs> You heading to bed, I'm guessing? Are these memories or is it time travel bullshit? <laughs> Don't forget the murder of an eight-year-old god <laughs> by his own brother's hand. <laughs> Let's not forget that. So it's I killed him, and I blamed another for what I did to spare myself the guilt. I so it's memory him. bullshit, not I would lose what not time travel bullshit. So I ran from everything, and now, are you ready to accept the truth? I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do so that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. gonna fight ourselves <laughs> are we are we about to kick our own ass the truth that awaits me. I will press what are memories but time travel bullshit I mean something like that yeah <laughs> Come. My god, dude, we really are. Oh god, we're gonna die. Ah, we're so screwed. Oh god, we are seriously screwed. <laughs> Come on, 
Can we fire God ourselves to, to deal with this? I'm assuming... Yeah, that didn't do much. But he doesn't seem to have a ton of health, so like that's it. He must be like a full 60 seconds behind. Yeah, Twitch was fucking up pretty bad there for a few minutes. So I'm not surprised it was bad for you. Uh, get back. I mean, I didn't really expect it, but I was kind of hoping that Garuda powers would, like, be an iconic vulnerability. Damn you. No, wrong way. <laughs> Get wrecked, Efreet. <laughs> You're so hard to hit. You're so big. Will this work? Can we pull him down? Yes, dude. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Let's go. Pull down a god. Run away, run away, run away. Wrong button, or wrong I icon. Damn you, you freak. Take some hits, man. Good miss, good miss. That was dumb. Wrong button. So good. Oh my god, I hate you so much right now. All this AoE shit makes me run away, and it takes forever to get back to him. We need the uh, we need the increased teleport stuff ability <laughs> come on he's so close to going down dude here just fireball his ass there he yeah, has literally two fireballs he was super freaking close Get wrecked, my guy. Let's go. So what effect does killing our own god do? Like, <laughs> like how is that going to affect us? Are we going to gain mastery over him? Or I don't think we're going to lose it. But if this is all memory, is it even going to do anything? Is this just like our own internal battle right now? Oh, now we actually have to, like, fight us with yellow serpent eyes. Okay. Still you deny it. Even with the truth staring right at you. Come on, Clive. Face your fears. Yeah, so this whole battle was just, like, us coming to terms... with the truth, with what happened. Ah, you bastard. You can't teleport. 
I teleport. Also, why do you have Fira? I don't have Fira. Wait, does, is it Fira or Faraga that it turns into? Oh, I guess it is Fira. Your Fira works faster than mine. <laughs> Can I grab you? No. What is that? Do you have missiles that follow? Okay, let's get a quick heal in from this. Bro, we've done like no damage to him. This is this is not great. Circle's not dodged, dumbass. What is molten thrust? I'm never going to get used to that R1 to dodge. Bro, that's not even half his health. This dude's got health for days. QTEs, QTEs to save the day. What? Oh, yeah, at some point we should learn to do that too, right? You'd have me learn by example. Where we half turn into the god but not fully transform I didn't even think about that like everyone else is able to do that of course we'd be able to at some point oh you dick hold on can we because we don't have any stone skin stuff left can we switch it for a strength tonic Yes. So is the god making him face his pass and he isn't actually killing him or is the god just really pissed at him? <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm not 100% sure how the god stuff works. Because, like, it seems like they do choose a host, but normally the host can control them. But at least so far, we haven't been able to control ours and ours isn't even supposed to exist. So, don't really know at the moment. No, Hellfire bad. Oh, we're being like sucked in during this too. No. Glad we dodged that one. That one didn't look fun. Hammer and anvil. Ooh. You bastard. Oh, dick. That's too slow on knocking him down.
Come on. Come on. Let's go. Ah, the stagger already ended. Son of a bitch. I was really hoping I could get that in before the stagger ended for the extra damage. I'm seriously surprised at the lack of QTEs during this fight, man. I'm sure they're coming. Are we going to go half god ourselves now? No escape, eh? It's all right. I'm done running from you. My headphones are dying. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, God. Together. Yeah. Oh. It's time to find out who we are. Once and for all. There we go, dude. Okay. L3, R3 to accept the truth. There we go, man. Show yourself, you freak. So wait, how do we... Are we just stronger? Do we have new abilities? Okay, well, our swords definitely... Okay. <laughs> Here's the longer combos you want to joke about. <laughs> I mean, you already know about this, though. Bro, I have no idea. I cannot tell what's going on right now, like, at all. Can we still use, like... The claws and stuff, we can. But it kind of seems like trash. Wait, we gonna go full on God now? We can do it too. Maybe. <laughs> so far, we haven't been able to do it by choice. Maybe this is the moment. you battle for the win <laughs> let's go dude wait what yeah for real, like, I'm not gonna be any help there cuz like <laughs> I, I've been wait wanting my way through this entire game so far dude I have no idea oh that uppercut dude Get wrecked. <laughs> Shadow Vanquish. Oh, boy. See, that's the thing. Like, I'm playing through the game, right? And I keep getting to moments where I'm like... You know, the cutscenes, the little tiny cutscenes are a little bit too much in between everything. It really breaks up the game, or I wish there was a little bit more reason to explore, a little bit more exploration in general, open areas and stuff like that. And then they just throw shit like this at you, and I'm like, let's fucking go! Best game ever, man! <laughs> like, it's a roller coaster. This game is a fucking roller coaster. For sure. Fire Shard, that's definitely gonna make a new weapon. The power of the icon Ifrit, or Ifrit, whatever, made manifest. The shard of crystal is hot to the touch and can be heard to emit a soft hum when held to the ear. Hmm, how fancy.
That still doesn't tell us who the mask dude is, though, or the hooded dude. That laugh, though, man. There's still something evil about all of this. Like... <laughs> That voice has appeared a few times now. This isn't the first time we've heard it. Clive, are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. What's up, Nate? Hello, man. My brother says Jesse thanks, by the shadows. way. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. Are you really not going to try to figure out what that's about? Like, I'm fairly certain that's you up there, dude. <laughs> this is something to do with you. Jill also has the power of a god, by the way. She has the power of Shiva, the ice god. She was also a uh, basically a sister to us growing up. She was stolen from another kingdom and forced to live with us. <laughs> but she grew close to Clive and his brother Joshua, the one that Clive murdered. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire who killed my brother and burn this castle to the ground was me, Ifrit. Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers together. I want to learn the truth, too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. Or you didn't even see when he almost killed trust. Jill. <laughs> even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. changed but I don't want to be that person anymore the things she did were unforgivable and yet they're what brought us back together thank you Jill yeah so like in the beginning of the game, your brother goes god mode. You accidentally... I think that's our it. brother, dude. The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confounded. The hour is later than I thought. Is it, though? I don't know, man. I'm so confused. But anyways, our brother turned into a god. We accidentally turned into a god. Killed our own brother. And... <laughs> the castle that one of the castles that we were meant to be protecting we've been trying to hunt down the god that killed our brother all this time only to find out it was us 
uh, sold into slavery, all kinds of shit, dude. The story's just wild, honestly. <laughs> Jill was also taken, forced to do some shit. We came across her not realizing that she was who she was, almost killed her, like. <laughs> like I said, it's been some crazy shit. He's also a god, by the way. He's Titan, the god of Earth, strength, whatever. Basically, Attack on Titan Titans, like, that's what he is. So technically, the people aren't gods, to be clear. They're called dominants. They host the gods, have the powers of the gods, and can turn into them. And each one of the gods has one dominant. But again, we were not supposed to exist. So what's in the box? Is that Dominica? D D I forget her name. Is it like her pendant that she always wore? Because they kind of had a thing going on. She was the, the god of, of wind, or had the god of wind, Garuda. And uh, we kind of killed her. <laughs> and they had a bit of a thing. Now granted, she had a thing with a few different people, but <laughs> they still had a bit of a thing. Benedicta, that was her name. Yeah, I'm guessing it's her pendant. The meaning of life. Bruh. Ifrit awoken. Clive has gained control of the icon Ifrit, allowing access to new iconic abilities such as Ignition, a fiery lunge that drives back enemies while dealing continuous damage as well as unlocking the Limit Break Gauge. Slots for Ifrit's ab abilities are shared with those for the Phoenix and be conf confirmed via the Abilities tab in the main menu. Limit Break Gauge is located beneath Clive's HP bar. Release Clive's Inner Beast and Semi Prime into if Ifrit by pressing L3 R3 when the gauge is full. Gauge fills in battle both by taking damage as well as by successfully performing offensive and defensive maneuvers. Semi Priming temporarily gains increased attack potency and speed, gradual HP regen, and guard breaking strikes. That's cool. I didn't realize the HP regen. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again about Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave. I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid, too. All right. We should arrange an introduction, then. <laughs> okay, I do... This is going to be the end of it, because I, uh, I got to get some tests done tomorrow afternoon, so I, w I got some stuff I got to do tonight. But there was that door around here somewhere that we found that looked awfully similar to the doors of that place we were just in, and I'm wondering... If now that we've, like, done that, if we'll be able to interact with that door in any way. Probably not, but... Why are you growling, boy? Nothing good, I'll wager. Oh, God, the town's been attacked or something, hasn't it? Bro. That town's full of good people. Yeah, it's not glowing, so I'm assuming we still can't do anything with it. Gear and icons. Flames of rebirth, heat wave scar. What? I thought it was. Sh huh? Phoenix. Deadly embrace. Oh, excuse me. No. Okay, Phoenix. Oh. We probably have to buy them, I'm guessing. 
Yeah. Okay. Limit break. You okay? What's the upgrade do? Adds a second limit break gauge. Adds a third limit break gauge. On mastery. What are the other ones? Will of the Wikes. Summon a storm of fireballs to circle about Clive, damaging nearby targets while also absorbing damage. That's pretty cool. Attack while charging. Oh, that was the ignition, the one that they were talking about. Hmm. I don't know. Um. Summon a tornado that slowly hunts down nearby and upon snaring them inflicts multiple hits. I'm going to buy this, I think. But then after that, I'm kind of tempted to just upgrade the limit break. Because ignition doesn't look bad, honestly. Will, Will of the Wikes, I'm a little iffy about, though. I wonder... What's the uh, auto going to do with our points? To acquire two new abilities? Oh, it acquired ignition for us. What was the other one? Rook's Gambit. Nah, I'm going to get rid of Rook's Gambit. Instead, I'm just going to go ahead and... Screw it. Yeah, I'm just going to unlock all of his stuff. <laughs> okay. Need to upgrade those before I forget, though, actually. Gear and icons... So, I like Gouge for the most part. Don't really care for that one, though. Is it Wicked Wheel? No. Ar aerial Blast? Yes, Aerial Blast. And then... Hmm. I wish it didn't share a slot with the Phoenix. Because, like, I can't decide, man. <laughs> I like Rising Flames. Well, the, like, uh, the absorbing damage thing is cool. But, like, Flames of Rebirth, man, it's just so, like, it pauses time to do all of its hits. It has the same offensive score as Ignition has, but better, like, AoE score. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it as it is even though i did spend points on it but oh well okay let's figure out what's going on with the town then we're gonna call it for the night <laughs> i can't, can't help it now i'm curious man something's definitely going on in town we got torgle mad dude he was growling and shit running for it Oh, yeah, it's on fire. 100% <clears throat> it's on fire. What happened here? Why? Imperials. You'll pay for this. What? Why? Ah, we've got a live one. Why did they come and murder everybody? Like, what was the point of that, dude? Remember our orders? No survivors. There ain't gonna be none of you surviving in a moment. Is this because we pissed off Big Dude? We pissed off Titan? I feel like this is retaliation for pissing off Titan, honestly. Wait, is there anybody else alive? Must need to go deeper. Thought you could escape us, did you, Branded? Ain't nobody trying to escape you. I'ma murder all of you guys, just so you know. <laughs> oh, 
I like the tornado. <laughs> I'm a fan. Is this because the mayor was trying to get rid of the branded here to the Imperials? Was it the Imperials or I don't remember who he was trying to sell or not sell them off, but give them to before they all starved. I just remember that whoever he was trying to give them to were calling them Ducal Dogs. Do y'all really think this is going to end well for you? Like, do you think I just walked past all the other dudes? Like, no, they're dead, man. Oh, not strength on it. Give them all you've got, boy. Maybe they were bored, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit premature to go god mode, but like... Oh, was that the last one? That was literally the last one. Well, whatever. Is that Hannah's house? Oh, hi there. The bearers and those who sheltered them. Empress Annabella, you say? Aw, oh, bro, that, like, burned completely through all of our shit, too. I like the limit break, dude. It's pretty sick. about this <laughs> may not output the most damage but damn is that thing cool screw your divine hammer dude <laughs> I definitely want to upgrade the limit break. Two just does not last long enough. Two bars. Cleric of you. Ow. <laughs> Get wrecked, dude. Or paladin, not cleric. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm kind of dumb. Excuse me. Is that Hannah? No, that's that girl we were talking to. There's Hannah. Uh, sorry, Hannah. You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Please tell me we get to kill our mom. <laughs> That sounds bad, but seriously, dude. Fuck her. <laughs> like... Oh, we're too late. Gav. Clive.
there's reason to believe she sold us all out. And that's why the attack that led to our brother turning into a fire god and then us turning into a fire god and killing him and all that. There's reason to believe that was all her doing, her fault. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident and birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav, we want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. Let's go. Case, King and Queen. Tell Sid you've had a Chilling Clive. <laughs> he was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi. Can I leave you lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. I'm still waiting for Clive, to, or not Clive, for Gav to die, dude. Gav's too good of a uh, guy to, to live in this universe. <laughs> He's gonna get murdered, man. I'm positive of it. Don't jinx it. There's no jinx in it, man. Lead me to your nest. Aw, oh, fuck this guy. I don't know who he is, but fuck him. Lord Kutka's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> the game just sucks you in so much, man. Holy shit. That's fine. We'll be playing more tomorrow. God damn. Okay. Well, I don't think we can save from here, so we got to go back to the hideaway to save the game. Make sure there's no cutscenes or anything as soon as we load in. Yeah. Nope. Okay. To Sid Sola, then. We have a lot to discuss. Have a lot to discuss next time, tomorrow. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. I do appreciate you all coming out with me. Uh, or coming out with me. Coming and hanging out with me while we played some more Final Fantasy 16. I, like I mentioned earlier, man, I start to wane and then I'm just dragged right back in. Like, this game has its flaws, but God, dude, is it good. I love the new story direction. I hope they change some of the gameplay aspects, but if they want to keep the combat like this and want to keep the story with this mature focus on it, I'm down for that, dude. Good shit. Good shit. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we'll be back tomorrow to play more of it. Tomorrow night, we're going to be playing this until we finish it, however long that ends up taking. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, I see some of you guys tomorrow, and uh, have a good night. And be kind to each other. That thing, too. That's kind of important. Do that. Do that and then have a good night. Doing that will help you have a good night. How about that? <laughs> good night, guys. Thank you again. Bye-bye.